I hope you enjoy this book called Manners Can Be Fun. Having good manners is really just living with other people pleasantly. If you lived all by yourself, out on a desert island, others would not care whether you had good manners or not. It wouldn't bother them. But if someone else lived there with you, you would both have to learn to get along together pleasantly. If you did not, you would probably quarrel and fight all the time. Or stay apart and be lonesome because you could not have a good time together. Neither would be much fun. Most of us don't live on desert islands, so this is what we do. We meet people. How'd you do? If I am a boy, when I meet you for the first time, I smile and shake your hand. If you are a lady or a girl, I take my hat off. How do you do? If I am a girl, when I meet you for the first time, I smile and hold out my hand to you. I don't just stand with my mouth open and leave you holding out your hand. If we already know you, we say good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Very often, the people we like most live in the same house with us. We see them so often, we sometimes forget to be as nice to them as we are to others. Most of the time, it is just because we do not think of it. So let's see how we start the day. We get up in the morning, when we should, and we don't have to be called more than once. We wash ourselves and brush our teeth without fussing and making faces. And we don't leave our clothes and towels around for others to pick up. When we are at the table, we have a good time because we eat what we should and talk about pleasant things we have seen and done. We don't have puffy cheeks from talking with our mouths full. And we don't choke because we don't drink when we still have food in our mouths. Other people like to talk to us because we wait until they finish talking before we start. We don't try to shout louder and butt in like goats. If we want something, we say, please. We say, thank you. If you help us or give us something or do things for us. Before we leave the table, we ask if we may be excused and say thank you if we are told we may. Plain. When I play with other boys, we take turns doing the things we want to do. If we are playing games, we follow the rules. One of us doesn't always try to change things so that he will win. We play for fun. When I play with other girls, we share our things and take turns doing what we like to most. We don't whine and cry or quarrel. 
when we don't have everything our way and go home angry. There are some people we don't like to play with, and here they are, the pigs. They have all sorts of toys, but they never let anyone else play with them. They just squeal. That's mine! This is a whiny. Whinies always have lumps in their throats and cry because they can't do just what they want to. They whine if they can't have things they should not. They whine if they can't go along when they should not. And they whine when other people tell them no. Oh, how they whine. The noisies, they shout and scream and yell until I can't even think. They make so much noise. They make me tired. This is a me first who never took turns. He wore his arms off grabbing things first. He wore his legs off pushing in every place first. And his face is this way because he always tried to see first. Smash, rip, ruin. Smash is never happy unless he is breaking things. His things, your things, everybody's things. Rip is terrible. She destroys everything that she can tear. Books, dresses, paper, everything. Sometimes Ruin uses a hammer. Sometimes he uses ink or paint. And sometimes he doesn't use anything but his hands. But he always spoils things so that no one can enjoy them anymore. Putting things back. Smash, rip, and ruin nearly always destroy the things they use. If they don't, they forget to put them back where they belong. Then other people come along and step on them or have to put things back for them. Don't be a smash, rip, or ruin. Be kind to animals. They have feelings, too. Visiting. When we go to visit someone and have a good time, we thank them when we leave and say goodbye. While we are there, we do not act like the noisies, the pigs, me first. Whinies, smash, rip, ruin, touchy, and the snoopers. This is touchy. Wherever he goes, he touches things. He never thinks whether he should or not. Maybe it's because he has not any head. He is all hands. Snoopers walk right into rooms where other people are when the doors are closed. If they knocked first and asked if they might come in, people would not call them snoopers. This is Yawner, who yawns so much without putting his hand over his mouth that his mouth grew too big to cover. So sad. When night comes, it is time for sleep. And people who like us all the day say good night. Then it is time for us to go. Only whinies stand about while we are first in. Bed. These next pages are about other manners that I have learned, and the pictures are drawn 
find me. The end.